On the other side of the world, New Zealand is also dealing with a major natural disaster. A magnitude 7.1 earthquake hit the country's second biggest city, Christchurch, in the early morning hours. Miraculously, no one was killed. Nick Schifrin has the latest from London. Good morning, Nick. Good morning, Bianca. It was the most destructive area, the most destructive earthquake to hit that area in 80 years. And today, the prime minister is saying that the damages that that quake caused are probably about a billion and a half dollars. 10 reporter Matt Doran is in Christchurch and he joins us now. Matt, there have been quite a number of aftershocks since yesterday's quake. How concerned are locals? Well, Tash, Christchurch is still very much a city on edge. It's been almost 40 hours since the earth opened up and the mortar began tumbling and still powerful aftershocks continue to roar through. In fact, the ground right here was shaking just a short time ago. Uh, all up, we've seen 30 so far since the, the initial quake came through. Good evening. New Zealand's South Island has been rocked by one of the biggest earthquakes to hit the region in 80 years. Early morning earthquake rattles parts of New Zealand, doing some damage to a major city there. Geologists say the magnitude 7.0 quake was centered about 19 miles outside of Christchurch. That's on New Zealand's South Island. It is the second largest city in the country. It struck around 4.30 this morning local time, 30 kilometres west of Christchurch, the country's second largest city. New Zealand has declared a state of emergency after the country's second biggest city was rocked by a powerful earthquake. The 7.1 magnitude quake struck about 30 kilometres west of Christchurch early this morning. It caused widespread damage, toppling buildings, cutting power and rupturing water and sewerage mains. So far there have been no deaths, but two men were seriously injured. Sky News Sunrise with Mark Longhurst. First this morning, one of New Zealand's biggest cities is under a state of emergency after an earthquake of 7.1 magnitude hit the country's South Island. There's been widespread damage in the city of Christchurch, with power, gas and water supplies all severely disrupted. Looters have been breaking into shops. But the authorities say the city's been blessed as only two people suffered serious injury in the disaster. Ian Woods has the latest. While the earthquake wasn't felt here in Australia, it shocked many New Zealanders living here. The disaster has also caused major problems for travellers after flights to and from Christchurch were cancelled. Video from Christchurch shows extensive damage to several buildings and cars. Police say they shut down the streets while they get a look at the wreckage there. So far, we have not heard any reports of serious injuries from the quake. And joining us now with the latest from Christchurch is TVNZ reporter Melissa Stokes. Melissa, just how extensive is the damage to the city? Oh, Deborah, everywhere you look, every corner you go to, you see piles of, of rubble. I've seen a brick wall collapse, chimneys off houses. New Zealand is in a state of emergency. A violent, powerful earthquake damaged hundreds of buildings, crumpled at least six bridges, twisted railroads and burst water mains submerging entire villages. It's buildings like this which have authorities wary about reopening the CBD, particularly given the number of aftershocks which are rattling not only the buildings but people's nerves. Tonight, Christchurch in ruins after a major earthquake rocks New Zealand. An Australian one of nine people killed in a plane crash at Fox Glacier. This is 7 News with Sharon Gadella. Good evening. New Zealand's South Island has been rocked by one of the biggest earthquakes to hit the region in 80 years. It struck around 4.30 this morning local time, 30 kilometres west of Christchurch, the country's second largest city. Robert Avadia is there and Rob looking at the devastation. It's amazing no one was killed. Flights between Christchurch and Sydney have resumed with the first passengers from the quake zone touching down this morning. Travellers spoke of their terrifying ordeal. This woman in her 80s lost contact with her daughter in Australia after the quake struck. And the whole place just, it, it was something I'll never forget. First of all, I thought there was some intruders in the house. Then I thought there was a freight train in the house. Uh, then I worked out what was happening. And it was, the noise was just incredible. Holy shit. Um, didn't know what to expect, didn't know what it was. So we just quickly grabbed the children. Travellers are advised to contact airlines for flight information. 
But if they can't, of course, they, and we're just having another shake right at the moment, Eric, as I speak to you. Uh, I don't know, you probably can't see it, but I can certainly feel it. And uh, I can see the television light there shaking uh, just in front of me. So it's happening all the time. And one can only hope this isn't a build up to something bigger. Hello, welcome to BBC World News. I'm Owen Thomas. A state of emergency has been declared in New Zealand's second biggest city, Christchurch, after a 7.1 magnitude earthquake struck. Many buildings in the centre of the city have been badly damaged. Tens of thousands of people are without water or power. So far, there are no reports of any deaths. Jenny Wivell reports. This morning, New Zealand rocked. A powerful 7.4 magnitude earthquake rattles Christchurch overnight. But first tonight, a state of emergency has been declared in the New Zealand city of Christchurch after a devastating earthquake struck early this morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Good morning everyone. Buildings have collapsed and there are reports of widespread damage after a powerful earthquake rocked Christchurch in New Zealand this morning. The 7.4 magnitude quake hit just after 4.30am local time and centred about 30 kilometres northwest of the city. Christchurch is still reeling tonight from the most powerful earthquake to hit New Zealand in 80 years. The 7.1 Tambla struck just before dawn, bringing down buildings and buckling roads. Amazingly, there have been no reported fatalities. This is CNN Breaking News. Incredible images now coming out of New Zealand, coming into the Situation Room. One man saying a powerful earthquake literally turned his house upside down. The 7.0 magnitude quake rocked the country's second largest city of Christchurch, demolishing buildings, causing injuries. I'm now joined on the phone by Amanda South of News Talk ZB. Uh, Amanda, tell our viewers what you felt, what you saw, what you heard. Uh, reconnections of power, uh, sewage systems as well, so there's, uh, there's plenty of work to be done over the next couple of days. And meanwhile, we'll continue to keep track of the situation, but for now, thank you so much for talking to us. My pleasure. The 7.0 magnitude quake shocked the South Island as residents slept. Incredibly, only two people were seriously injured. The quake has caused major damage to the city's infrastructure, which will cost $2 billion to fix. Just minutes ago, I spoke to the mayor of Christchurch. That's Bob Parker. He told me more about what happened to him and his family when the quake struck. The streets in Christchurch are littered with bricks. The buildings above ripped open by the massive jolt that struck just before dawn. Oh my gosh, well that, that shake lasted oh, probably over a minute. 75% of this city of nearly 400,000 people is without power. The hospital is running on a generator and countless water pipes have burst. Flung from their beds, residents woke to an almighty tremor that's plunged the city of Christchurch into chaos. The 7.2 magnitude earthquake that struck uh, in New Zealand, as we understand it, it struck about uh, four miles from Christchurch, which is, which is a city of about 380,000 people. Joining me on the line is Paula May, who's there in Christchurch. Paula, we, re we appreciate your time today. Uh, what can you tell me uh, about what you know of all this, what you may have felt? A state of emergency has been declared in New Zealand's second largest city after a, an earthquake of more than seven in magnitude struck. And for more, we're joined now by Simon Dallow from TVNZ in Christchurch. Simon, what are the immediate priorities for emergency crews and locals there? Good evening, Natasha. Restoration of essential services and infrastructure, as your report alluded to just a moment ago. We have, a, in various parts of the city, the sewage system is, is out. We have uh, pockets where there is no electricity. We have pockets where there is no water.